Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a palm tree. Without further ado, let's investigate how we'd go about this. And for our pallet, pretty simple. Jungle logs and then some spruce in order to make sure that the trunk connects. Coca beans can be coconuts, and then for our leaves, azalea. And azalea might seem like an odd choice, however, deserts are a thing, and a thing you might want to do in a desert is an oasis. While I have a separate tutorial on that that also details palm trees, I decided it would be better to go in depth on its own video considering it seems a relatively popular topic. Now, in order to start this, you want to go to your coast or wherever you need a palm tree, and preferably a sandy area like a beach, or you can have a desert palm tree. And then, place a few blocks. And then, after a while, you want to place a few more and then curve one more time. You could go thicker, but this works well for a basic palm tree. Do this a couple of times with varying heights and layers. Now, I have some very basic logs in place. And you can see, it's very simple. However, what you want to do next is add your spruce. If you go down a layer, then make sure to put planks under it. And I used to be averse to including planks like this, but in the end, even if it might look weird at first, it will grow on you with the look. And not to mention, when you do it like this, it smooths out the tree, makes it look a bit more real. While technically you're able to do this as well, I don't really recommend this style. Although, if you really wanted to, you could. Now, from here, what you want to do is go to the top and place down a little matchstick head for leaves. This is going to be relatively simple at first, and then what you want to do is go out in four or three directions, no more, and then from here, you want to go down a little and continue this. Make sure it doesn't go out too far, but judging by the size of your tree, you should be able to roughly estimate how far it should be able to go. For reference, taller trees should go out further, while shorter trees should be a little closer together. If you're making a thicker tree, which has more than a 1x1 log column, then maybe you want to include thicker leaves and potentially more of them if possible. With your very simplistic branches, what you need to do is thicken them up. Right here, you can see I simply add a few leaves here and there, make sure it looks more like a branch. You can also make them go down a little bit more, so that way they look better. And then, your branches should also extend a little bit into the middle, sometimes with them drooping down like that. And you can see from this side, it looks a bit better. Of course, adjust the length of the branches if need be, make them go a little bit lower at times, etc. And then, after all that, you should be able to repeat that a few times. By the end of it, your palm trees should look something like this. Although, you might need to include more root stuff and other things. And one final note, sometimes it's better to go smaller with your palm trees. You can see if they go too large, they'll become a little bare. And that can present issues like with this one, where it's kind of tall, but it's still going with the same design. You might need to thicken it up and add a few more logs. Now, with the branches thickened up, I now have three palm trees. And you can see each one has its own unique thing. This one's really small. This one uses stairs differently, and then this one uses coconuts in the form of brown concrete rather than coca beans. Why you might want to do this, even if it's not as good in your opinion, what if you want to do a birch version? Right here, I have a birch version, and if I start doing the typical steps all over again, then you'll notice that I need coconuts in some manner. So now that I start thickening up these branches and, well, bringing them into existence, you'll see how this all goes in. If you're wondering how you're going to do this in survival mode as opposed to just flying into this, use scaffolding or dirt, any other block you can stand on. That way you can spam place at an angle in order to produce natural looking branches. Of course, be careful, because when you do your matchstick head, sometimes it'll still poke through, so make sure to do small changes like that. And make sure that your branches go down. Sometimes you can make little mistakes like this, and that can mess up your build. Luckily, the more palm trees you do, the less likely someone's going to notice if you make a mistake, in case you ever run out of materials during one or something like that. So, remember, 
place down a few at a time in order to make it seem more natural, even place it around builds. You can see I'm doing this around this giant desert base, there's a tutorial link to it, and then continue building them. Include your coconuts, and then make sure that they all generally look good by the end of it. Now, I have a birch palm tree and you can see how it fits in with the other ones. But now, we have a little bit of a different palm tree. Typically you don't see these unless you're looking at a ton of palm trees at once, especially in more tropical areas. But with this one, what you want to know here is that your leaves should droop off. And while this is a little bit of an unrealistic shape, sometimes you need a little bit of that because it's kind of funny. So what you do is you go down and you droop a little. Then for these upper ones, you also want to do the same thing. Up, down, one, up, down, two. Why am I doing the push-up test right now? Anyways, yep, you go up, then you go down, thicken them up, and then you'll have yourself a unique looking palm tree with this one. And while it might not fit in with most builds, well, I'm going to do it for demonstration purposes, and who knows, you might grow fond of it. So give it a little try if you're in creative mode, and, you know, switch to creative in a different world if you really want to try it. It's a fun little design you can do, because of course, nobody's expecting a palm tree at a 90 degree angle. Now, I have a pretty humorous tree here. You can see how there's still the leaf quality there. Of course, some parts might need further refining at times, but still, the idea is there. And generally, it adheres to gravity, forming more of an X shape than the other ones. And what you really want to do with this is use it once or twice. It's kind of funny to look at just to imagine a palm tree that's leaning over. The story behind it? Who knows? but it adds a little bit of character rather than generic palm trees. Although adding variants like this is really good. Personally, I kind of prefer the birch palm trees despite building most of them out of jungle. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. In fact, I recommend practicing a few of them. Because here's the thing with palm trees, you can do a lot with them. And well, there's only so much I can teach. But one thing I will say is use torches on them. Once I change it back to nighttime, you can see this isn't the best. So, what I need to do? I need to add some torches. Nothing really interesting to say here. Add torches, make sure it's all nicely lit up. Potentially another one a bit higher up. Might not exactly work for the tallest of trees, but still, you can see how it makes it give off that tropical paradise thing. If you're building something more tropical, something Hawaiian, well, Try this, now you have a nice cozy place for it outside. Build a few more just to be sure you have the idea down, and who knows, you might innovate your own changes. Either way, continue on, and if you find a new take on the formula, well, comment it down below, because we can all benefit from new ideas. Right here, I have my final two trees, seven trees here, and now, these ones use two different things. This one? Flowering azaleas, although maybe a little unrealistic, still kind of interesting. And then this one uses stripped jungle in order to provide a different wood color, which gives you three options to choose from. From here, you can mix and match these ideas in order to make new interesting palm trees. Small ones, big ones, coconuts, or coca beans. Include some torches, have the little base things at the roots. Maybe even make one a little silly looking like that. Another thing I recommend is making sure that whenever you do your final logs, don't put one leaf on top. Make sure there's always two in order to make sure that it doesn't look like you just built it. It actually looks grown. And now with these, you can scatter them wherever. Want to put them at your desert base? Go right ahead. Make them scatter the coastline? Well, you can do that too. They're quite versatile little trees, and they're not terribly hard to make as opposed to something you'd put a tree house in. So oh, maybe you set up a little tiki pavilion next to it, and what do you know? You have a nice interesting kind of tree in order to place around your tropical areas. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Either way, enjoy the rest of your day. Gearsaw out.